Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 16. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we drop tables when plugin deactivates. In our previous part, we had seen that if we want to install, activate our plugin then how can we actually create those tables means dynamic tables inside our database. Go to our plugin section and here is the plugin so far we have developed. Click on activate and while activation click on reload. Now we have two dynamic tables created called OWT, TBL books and TBL book self. As well as inside our previous part, we also seen that how can we insert dynamic data inside this dynamic created table. Now let's see that in some cases we want to drop this table while our plugin deactivates. Currently, what is happening if I back to our plugin installation section and click on deactivate? Go here, click on database. Now the table and the table exists, it means that we haven't dropped or deleted that tables from this database. But in some cases, if we want to drop our tables in case the plugin deactivates, so how can we delete these tables from this database? For that, if I back to editor, so open up the editor, go to folder structure, this is our plugin, so I'm going to open this plugin to our Sublime Text Editor. So successfully we have opened that, go to Sublime Text Editor and here the plugin is now imported. So let's say that we want to deactivate means we want to drop our tables when the plugin deactivates. So here is the file called deactivated.php. So if we click on that, now inside this we have again a static method. So to deleting a table means the code or the command which deletes the table we need to provide inside this method and this method is successfully called inside this file as we had discussed inside our very first part that is by using this deactivation hook. So if we search for this function and this function is right here so inside this function we are including this deactivator file and calling this deactivate static method and by the help of this st static method means deactivate we are going to drop our tables. So firstly we need to include one more file inside this and that file basically contains all the table definitions and as we know that the table definitions or we have installed inside this activator file. So we need to include this activator file right here and by using the concept of activator file actually the dynamic tables what we are creating here we can delete from this deactivate method. So back to plugin main file and let's say that currently I'm not going to include this activator file right here. So here I'm to remove this deactivate method and let's say that this is only a static means non-static method. We need to create an object of that. So copy this and let's say deactivator and I'm going to copy and create a deactivator method. So let's D activator equal to new and by the help of this class actually we have created this object and by the help of this object actually we are calling this deactivate method. Back to this file and remove this static method because it is now non-static and I am to write our drop command. So let's say global WPTB and here let's say dropping tables on plugin uninstall and here we need to write called 
WPDB query and as we know that query method is used to run our raw queries so inside this double quotes let's say drop table let's say if exists and the table name we have to pass and if we back to browser these are the tables so copy the table name go here pasting it here and again if I copy this line pasting it here the second table we have called book self so if I copy the table name back to editor and pasting it here now inside this deactivate method we are checking that if table exists then we are dropping it so back to browser and let's click on activate first and it will basically create that two tables already we have and if I click on deactivate button now as we can see plugin deactivated back to phpMyAdmin click on this and the table has been deleted this means that successfully we have implemented about deactivation code but one more thing that we can see that inside this deactivate method we are writing our table name as a static value so that's why I have included that this file means activator file should be included inside this main file so we need to include this activator file inside this so that we need not to write about the static table names inside this we will call about the methods what the methods we have actually discussed and provided here so back to plugin main file and if I copy this pasting it here and passing this activated object inside this about the class and here it is now by the help of this object actually we can call all the methods what we have defined inside this so back to our deactivated file firstly let's declare a private variable called table underscore activator and I'm going to create a constructor so let's say public function construct and inside this construct function as we know that actually we are getting a activator object so copy that and pasting it here and inside this let's say this table activator equal to activator object so by using the concept of this variable or we can access all the tables what we have inside this activator file so copy this variable go here and let's say that drop table if exist and by the help of this object actually we can call all the methods what we have defined so copy this pasting it here again if I copy remove this static file name or the static table name and copy this method name and pasting it here now this time all we have two dynamic tables by the help of dynamic function names and these methods actually we are getting via this activator object so save all these changes back to our browser and again if I click on activate button we have now two tables inside this database again click on deactivate plugin is deactivated and if we check about the database and the tables are now successfully removed back to editor so why we have included this activator file this activator file inside this it's because if suppose in future if we need to add more tables then directly we can add here and by calling of these methods actually we can drop inside this code as well we not need to make the tables definition right here what we have done inside the same file so we need to change only the table names only inside this file because we are accessing only this method name so in case 
if we have let's say about updated table name so we need to change only this activator file by the help of this method actually we are going to access inside this deactivator file so inside this video session guys we have seen that how can we drop our tables when our plugin uninstall in case if we don't want to drop our table so simply we need to remove our code from this deactivate method so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day